I recently did a video on Walt Disney World's biggest downgrades of all time, so now I'm going to look at the other side of things and talk about the biggest upgrades we've seen in Walt Disney World, one in each park, and I'm only focusing on changes that were one attraction or land replacing another, not just new additions that were simply added on. In Magic Kingdom, I'm going with Toontown and Snow White's Scary Adventure being upgraded into New Fantasyland. Toontown certainly was cool and had its appeal, but it was nothing compared to Seven Dwarves Mine Train, Be Our Guest, and the rest of New Fantasyland. I know New Fantasyland is not perfect and each of its components has its flaws, but it's still a world-class land that was undeniably a big upgrade. In Epcot, I think the very obvious choice is Ellen's Energy Adventure being upgraded to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Now don't get me wrong, Ellen's Energy Adventure had lots of fans and I was one of them. There will always be a place in my heart for giant dark rides, but that attraction was not bringing new people to the park and was due for an upgrade. Not only was it upgraded, but it was upgraded to one of the very best roller coasters in the world, an absolutely monumental change. In Hollywood Studios, we have Backlot, Streets of America, and movie sets being upgraded to Galaxy's Edge and Toy Story Land. I know this will be a controversial pick because old school MGM Studios has very loyal fans, but I'm sticking by it. No matter what you think about the area that used to be there, you simply cannot deny that Galaxy's Edge is a world class land. I know people are tired of Star Wars and I know how much people just love to complain about Galaxy's Edge because they want something to complain about, but there are very few places in the entire world with this level of immersion and with this level of technology, and I will defend Galaxy's Edge to the death. On top of that, we also got Toy Story Land, which is also an incredible land. I'd argue that Toy Story Land even on its own would be worth losing what we lost for these two lands combined. Without a doubt, a massive upgrade. And finally, in Animal Kingdom, we have Camp Minnie Mickey being upgraded to Pandora the World of Avatar. Camp Minnie Mickey was basically a placeholder that only existed because Beastly Kingdom fell through. And Pandora is next level in every way imaginable, from themed storytelling to attractions to immersion to food. I don't think there's anyone out there that can argue this isn't an epic upgrade. So I don't think there's too much more that needs to be said. So those are my biggest Walt Disney World upgrades. Let me know in the comments below if there's any upgrades that I forgot.